That's our welder. That's your welder. Okay. Yeah. That old potato, that old potato, he's proud and dirty, he ain't too pretty. That old potato, he make a meal complete. Sickness, famine, fire and flood. I could do something if I were to spud. That old potato, he make a meal What do we got here, Mike? What? What are you seeing in there? Old potato. Yeah? It's one of my favorite agrarian hits. Agrarian? Yeah. Is that like the age of agrarian? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. With the fourth you dimension? Be 18 to work on the tractor. Ah. John's to run it, and I'll document it. <laughs> is it 3D yet? Very nice. Wow, look at that. Is that it? Ooh. This is behind the scenes. Okay. Focus is over here. Okay. Split image through there. Uh -huh. Meter here. Did you get her? I think got it. We're just doing a, we're just finishing up my, you know, Juju cow. Oh, we got them all with one muscle. Went in the pond out there, so we got to take her out. Well, that was a full-blown cow emergency. <laughs> yeah. But you saved him. Regular mic and then a zoom mic. The zoom mic changes the characteristics as it zooms. Does it work? I'll tell you right now, it'd be a good place to test it. Try it. This doesn't get more echoey than this. Zoom. Up that guy talking over there. For some reason, our, our uh, actually my brain doesn't do that very well. I have trouble playing tennis when there's background noise. And I, I have a lot of trouble. I can't work when there's lyrics on the radio. Oh, you're not alone there. Can't do it. So that's maybe like your Achilles tendon when you play tennis would get like your opponent's stud. Yeah, it is. And I tell them, you know. If you want to play with, if you want to play out at the airport, you can play by yourself. You know, if you want to do that, you know, I just Where it's not fun for the airport. Well, that's kind of a, kind of a joke. It's an, oh, but there are places. It's a metaphor. Yeah, there are places out there. There are loud places. And, uh, I don't, I don't. It's not fun for me to play them. Some guys don't care. They'll play. Most of the parks are built so that you got the screamatorium right next to the tennis court. <laughs> And uh, and uh, most guys like to like to do that, but uh, 
Screamatorium. I, I can't stand it, and there's this one guy I play with. He always wants to play there, and I tell him I, I just refuse because that's not no fun for me. So when you're so, saying screamatorium, you're saying playground. playground. The you best know. best one designed for that is in uh, Camel's Back. That's where I play usually because it's 100 yards away, minimal, optimal minimal distance for a screamatorium. So, <laughs> right? Screamatorium. Anyway, Kiryo and I play down at BSU. It's it's pretty good down there. You have to have quarters for the lights though. Right? Yeah, that's okay. How much time do you get? Half hour. For one quarter? Mm -hmm. But you you need to light up two quarts to get good light, so it's 50 cents. It's uh, it's a dollar an hour, so that's 50 cents a piece an hour. Nothing wrong with that. Only problem is they always have 80% of the lights working. They don't have them all working at the same time? Does no, I said they have 80% of the lights. Instead of 100%. Yeah, you're kind of like that, that Farfel guy, or what? That's not that guy on that. <laughs> what was that inventor guy's name? I don't know. Where he always repeated the inventor guy? He repeated everything. Oh, the guy who copied whatever you I were go, saying. I go, they always have 80% of the lights working. You mean that all of the lights aren't working? <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. What's all those Dale Carnegie things? You know, it's paraphrasing. You kind of add empathy and understanding. Oh. That, it's, make sure that you understand what the other person's talking it's kind about. Of, let me, it's kind of paraphrasing and you add empathy. And you make sure. Yeah, yeah you're doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to copy it. Now I know how. Turn the methodology into all that I'm doing. Yes. Yeah. All these ideas. And I'm getting caught up because I think they're great ideas, but then. Uh, okay, well, let's. Yeah, yeah, you're doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No. I want to copy it. Now I know how. Turn the methodology into all that I'm doing. Yeah. Because I get all these ideas, and I'm getting caught up because I think they're great ideas, but then. Uh, okay, well, that's what I was getting from, one, one, from one, you, is like, you kind of in a roundabout way saying, it, there's not enough demand. That's okay. No, you I'm can not, tell me that. I'm not saying that. I want not you to tell demand. me what you think, but. Tell me straight out, don't say. No, I'm not saying that, I'm just saying that. that you know, the criteria for developing something should be anticipated. You know, it's obviously anticipated need. Well, here's That's the what I'm asking you. What's, <coughs> where's the need out there? Here, here's the deal. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a hell of a lot of need at $5. There's not so much need at 20 bucks. That's kind of how that goes. So can you buy the whole pedal and everything for 5 bucks? Well... That's yet to be seen, you know. That's the other thing. Nobody can predict with certainty exactly how low you can get the prices. It depends if you made a million of them. In Bangladesh. In Bangladesh, you get it at five bucks. If you made 10,000 in torrents, you know, there's a lot of things to consider like that. What it amounts to, what, I, what it came down to with me was uh, I could spend 5,000 bucks to do a really good marketing survey. Or I could spend 5,000 bucks to develop the product, test the prototype, do my own little mini marketing survey, and get a patent. So that's what I'm doing. You know, mm -hmm. what it comes down to is you got to take a chance any way you look at it. So, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if there will be enough people that want to remove their pedals. It just depends on how cheap the thing can be made. Well, there was a... Uh Okay. Um, Mike, would you tell us why you ordered the extra biscuit? Well, you see, I don't like, I like to chop, I, I like to puree my, my uh, well, like this, actually, I'll demo this still. <laughs> this is how I like to do this. Now do the other one. Now, and then I'll <laughs> do the other one. Getting on the lens. Okay, and then I do it like this. And the deal is, is I don't like to mix gravy. See, this is a whole different organic matter than gravy. <laughs> and so I don't like to mix the two. What I like to do... So you're saying there's something chemical about it? Well, I don't know. But and then I like to and then I like to put it on like that. You see, I don't have enough biscuit to do that with all this. So that's kind of how it goes. So you call it egg salad? Mm -hmm. Let's take a tour of the table. 
This is ground round. It's the special for 275. See, that's ground up round. Round what? Well, it's round. It's just ground and round? It's ground and round. Is that the reason for that? Mm hmm. And, and what do we got there? Hash browns. Uh huh. It's a nice little piece of. Oops, sausage. What's that potato thing? How did that go? Hash brown. No, that oh. song. Uh, isn't it rich? Won't I get fat? I've got a plate of hash browns and they've been cooked in deep fat. Send in the brown. Attack dogs. If that glass was to break, I'd lose it.